Yo, what is going on gamers? It is your boy Chris here, aka Chris X Gamer. Today, we kind of have a different video. As you can see, Activision is getting sued for sexual harassment. And if you weren't on Twitter the last couple of days, you would have seen this because when I went on Twitter, I seen the whole Call of Duty community just going crazy. I've unfollowed a lot of people. We'll talk about why I also kind of disappeared, why I went away towards the end of the video. So if you do care about me and care about where I've been, I'll talk about at the end of the video. So the little people that I do still follow that are in the Call of Duty community started tweeting about this and I was like, what is going on? What is going on at Activision Blizzard? So if you have been under a rock because you've kind of moved on from Call of Duty like I have, we're going to have to talk about some sexual harassment stuff that's been going on at Activision Blizzard. Now, before we do get into this whole sexual harassment thing, I do want to read the statement from Activision talking about this. Now, I'm not going to read this whole entire thing because it's lengthy and we all know it's BS, right? It's Activision. We are confident in our ability to demonstrate our practices as an equal opportunity employer that fosters a supportive, diverse, and inclusive workplace for our people. It's a lie, ladies and gentlemen. It's absolutely a lie. So I'm going to try to make this video a little short for you guys. And like I said, towards the end, I'll talk about kind of why it disappeared and stuff like that. So without further ado, Let's get straight into it. I know you guys watched the NBA final. Shout out to the Bucks, but uh, you already know. You already know. LeBron's coming back next season. Investigation has been going on since 2018. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm looking off to the side, I got notes. And I will also link the lawsuit, the full lawsuit, down below in the description. And also Charlie Intel's like post. I think they made a whole article on it. If not, just there, I'll link like the start of the thread of their tweets. Um, when all of this started. So yeah, that's what I'll do for you guys. Ongoing since 2018, pretty much the lawsuit states that they gave them a chance. They gave Activision a chance to like get this situation under control and they just did not do so. They had opportunities, dates to like, I guess just go through things. Like I don't really know all the details, but if you look into the lawsuit, they had opportunities to, to really deal with this stuff and they failed to, which is why we're now seeing the lawsuit. Frat boy workplace culture. So this one's weird. There's two things in here that like made me like, well, this whole entire situation is just fucked, but it's like, what's going on? Cause people used to make fun of EA, Ubisoft, but it's like an ongoing joke in like the gaming community, like being a gaming developer. Like it's like now better to be an indie developer cause they have more worth. It's like they know the value of a, of a dev. These big corporations just don't give a fuck about you. So frat boy, in the office, women are subjected to cube crawls in which male employees drink large amounts of alcohol as they crawl their way through various cubicles in the office and often engage in inappropriate behavior towards female employees. And then at the bottom of this uh, lawsuit, it says jokes about rape. Like, what? And that's why here I put like, are they still in college? Like, I, I just... I can't believe it like that that I don't even that doesn't make sense to me that makes no sense to me and then let's keep going so female harassment continues where they were assigning females lower pay denying equal pay passing over a particular female for promotion even though she was better than her male supervisor etc just because they knew people just because they knew the supervisors they were getting promoted rather than the females in this one this was the one where it's like I had to scratch my head. When I first read it, I was like, there's no way. There's no way. I don't believe it. A newly promoted male supervisor delegated his responsibilities to his now female subordinates in favor of playing Call of Duty. I had to look up, down, left, right. Make sure it's not a cheat code. That's a lie. Because if that was true, why do our developers suck? Every year that we watch these people get on Twitch... They start to play the game that they've been making for the last, you know, one to three years. Like they suck. They absolutely suck. They suck at the game. They're not like Valorant developers where when they were playing Shroud, it's like, whoa, you're putting Shroud who's been playing 15 years CS professional. Like he's trying, he's sweating. Our devs, they look like Billy's on the map. They look like Eugene, shout out Birdman. They look like Eugene's like, I'm not taking that serious. And if that is true, that dude needs to stop playing Call of Duty. He needs to be, he needs to stop uh and then i know i'm making jokes but it's just like that's just like ridiculous and then the last part is a life was lost and like I, that's the part where i'm just like i'm mind blown that they didn't try to keep this under control that they didn't try 
to negotiate, not negotiate, but pretty much do what the state of California, the government told them to do. Like literally something bad happened at your workplace. Your work environment is trash. Why did they not change? I, I literally cannot, I can't believe it. So pretty much this was their huge example of the harassment. A female employee passed away due to suicide while on a company trip due to sexual relationship that she had been having with her male supervisor. And this is where it just gets, it gets weird. The police found from the male supervisor that he had bought a butt plug and lubricant on the business trip. And uh, before she died at a company holiday party, male co-workers were passed in away this young lady's nudes. So like, I just, I got nothing to say about those people at Activision, man. Some of these people at Activision are built differently. So I will start off by saying rest in peace to that young lady. No one should have to deal with that where they work. And especially if you're in the gaming community and you're working as a game developer and you finally got your job in the gaming industry, these people probably felt like they were on cloud nine. You're working for Activision just to find out that Activision's a piece of shit. So like, you really gotta be careful when you're going in and trying to work for these corporations, they don't care about you. I really do feel like you die one day, your position is literally, it, it, they're gonna find somebody else the next day. And that's just something that we all have to like realize, or you might see your position the next day on Indeed. Damn, I just died yesterday. And there you gamers have it. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I know it was kind of a weird one. If you have been wondering where your boy has been, I finally got my first internship in school, so it's kind of been a grind. So that's where I've been the past month. Definitely check out one of the videos I posted a couple months ago, and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.